Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center in Ann Arbor. And this video is about an at-home test that you can do. It's called the OSIMEX. That's the name of the company. OSIMEX Adrenal Function Urine Test. At-home instant results. You don't have to go through a lab. You don't have to go through a medical doctor. You don't have to let anybody know the results. Um, it's totally private. And it doesn't go on your permanent record for uh, Obamacare to uh, raise your rates or something like that. So I'm going to show you an experience that I had um, before I did the test. Here's actually the test. It's a small, simple packet. And before I did it on myself, I did an official test through a, a lab. And um, last year I started two new companies and I got completely stressed out. And that uh, altered my, the function of my adrenals and it changed my sleep. And in the mid-afternoon, uh, I wasn't doing as well as I should be doing. And uh, here's what happened. So with the official lab tests, um, it measured cortisol, and it's a saliva test. And your cortisol, which is a hormone in your, from your adrenals that uh, gives you energy and is related to stress, your cortisol should be high first thing in the morning because it's the cortisol that wakes you up in the morning. And as the day goes on, it should go down gently so that you're tired at night. And then um, after midnight, it starts to ramp back up, or actually around 4 a.m., it really starts to ramp back up so that it wakes you up in the morning. So here's what happened when I did the test. Um, my cortisol was normal in the morning. I, felt, I actually felt good. I felt that my cortisol was normal. And it kind of stayed high in the late morning and early afternoon. And then by the late afternoon, it was actually nine times higher than what it should have been. And then it started to go down like this. And by 10 p.m., it was back to normal. And I felt this, and you may feel it when you're at work and you're stressed out and you feel like really tight inside or, or it could be the opposite for you. Maybe it's down too low, you know, in the mid-afternoon and then you're really tired and, and then after dinner you're like totally crashed at 7 o'clock. You're sitting in the chair trying to watch TV at 7 o'clock and you fall asleep. That's your, that's your cortisol being too low. So these are the different, a couple different scenarios that can happen. For some people, they just can't sleep at night at all. It's because their cortisol is too high all night. So various different situations can occur. So with the OSIMEX test kit, what you want to do is you open it up and you make sure um, that you read the instructions. And uh, here's the form, both sides. Make sure you read the whole thing. It's really easy to do. And there's that. Okay, and then it has five of these titration results so you look at these colors it's gonna it's a urine test you get a small sample of urine and you use these various um, pipettes to transfer liquid you got you would use one for urine <clears throat> you would use another one for a reagent and there's there's the pipette on the on the inside and there's a test the test tube vial and uh, you can use one then for a sample they actually have a uh, sample, um, let me show you right here. It's called um, salt, any sodium chloride trial sample solution. So a teeny tiny uh, bottle of salt. And this is for practice. So you do this for, this one first so you get the hang of how you do it. And then the rest of the time you use your own urine test. And you can do it five times. And you want to do it evenly throughout the day. So if you're awake for 15 hours as an example, you do it every three hours. And um, it doesn't have to be like on your busy Wednesday or something. It's fine to do it on a lazy Sunday. Because if your adrenals are messed up Monday through Friday, they're going to be messed up on Sunday too. So here's the activator solution. And this goes in the urine. It's a little yellow um, sample solution. And that, that then reacts with this, which it says indicator solution. So now the urine with this yellow... Um, activator solution is yellow and then as you it's this kind of a yellow and then as you drop this into the urine you have to count drop by drop the number of drops of this solution and if it goes if if the uh, read if the liquid turns from yellow to brown it just ta all, it only takes one drop to go from yellow to brown so let's say it takes 20 drops for the urine to go from yellow to brown that means that your adrenals are totally normal. Now, if it goes from uh, yellow to brown in five drops, that means that your adrenals are hyper. And if it takes 25 drops or more, that means your adrenals are hypo-functioning, they're under-functioning. 
like down here. So now if it's if it takes 10 drops, then the adrenals are moderately hyper functioning. That'd be like right here. And then if it's five drops, like I said, it'd be hyper functioning. That'd be like way up here. So um, I've done it and I've had other people do it and uh, it works pretty well. And then the point is now you have some real answers for why you feel so bad. But now you got to get solutions and that's where we come in. Um, I've been on adrenal support. There's several uh, various uh, brands that carry multiple products. And the question is, what works for you? Does your body want herbs? Does it want to take adrenals? I mean, there's actually adrenal supplements with adrenals in them. Um, do you, does your body need uh, homeopathics? And really, a lot of times it's a combination of all that. But um, I just want to write this word down, organo, organotherapy. This is eating organs to treat your organ. And this is, this is how it used to be in the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. And back in the 1930s, it was kind of a shame for a doctor to give you hormones, like to give you a steroid or to give you a thyroid hormone medication like Armour Thyroid or nat uh, Nature Throid. Also estrogen or progesterone. So they knew back then that um, that was too allopathic, if you will. What you want to do is actually repair the organ by eating the organ. So there's cow and pig and sheep thyroid to eat. And there's cow and pig and sheep adrenal to eat. So that's, we have that. We carry that. Now, in, in, the 19, in 1931, they knew that just eating the organ by itself wasn't enough. And you had to combine it with plants, meaning herbs. And you had to combine it with other organs. So that's the brilliance of uh, the products that we carry, especially a product line called Standard Process, which was developed in the 1930s mostly. And they understood the foundations of actually healing an organ. And then in the 60s, it really became very medical. And the organotherapy was squashed and homeopathy has been squashed and herbology was squashed. So now we're getting back as a culture, we're getting back into actually repairing the body and repairing the organs instead of just giving you a hormone or, you know, giving you another drug to try to suppress your symptoms and not actually repairing your, your whole body and improving your health. So we're, we're selling this adrenal test and you can determine how stressed out you are. You can determine if your adrenals are hyper or hypo functioning and then let us know the, the results. And you can come in and we'll put you on a program and we can fix you up. Now, there's the holidays. It seems like there's always a holiday. There's always a birthday. There's always taxes. There's always traffic. There's always stresses. So that's our modern culture. It wasn't like this 200 years ago, but we ha this, that's how we live right now. So the adrenals get really taxed and uh, they get really tired. Or they, they usually go hyper before they go hypo. So wherever you're at, we can help you out. So just call us at the office. You can come by and pick it up, or we can mail it to you in the mail. Let us know results, and, and then we can put you on a nice program.